Hoping to shrivel the root to unblock the vault, Phoenix sprinkled the tears. No! No! Adonis, my love! Why does my mind dwell on you? What? What's happening to me? <laughs> Oops! I'd better go find Aphrodite. Aphrodite really loved Adonis. And I married her off to Hephaestus. Yes, Adonis meant the world to her. I let that boar kill him. You did what? I mean, I didn't kill him, but I didn't try to save him either. I didn't listen to Aphrodite. Aphrodite, please, just tell me what's wrong. Well, I appreciate that you were trying to help me. There was really no need to trouble yourself. I just thought if we could move the root, I could get you... I can move the root any time I want! Well, since you watered my roots with the sea foam, that is... Thank you, but there is no need to concern yourself with my essence. Wait, I've been putting up with all this, the tears, the horrific niceness, for no reason? You're undead to me. Hermes, all my pettiest jealousies and all my most self-absorbed beliefs are locked away. Why would I ever want to be reunited with them? Sure, you weren't the most charitable person, but that's not everything. Remember all the fun we had gossiping about the other gods? Making fun of the ugly Sasha's hair I wears to parties? That mustard sash made her look like a shriveled carrot! <laughs> no! No! It was all time wasted! I could... I should have been more... I never measured up. What in Hades are you talking about, never measured up? By whose standard? What's she talking about? I can't imagine. It's no use. She won't hear reason. Try insulting some other gods. No, it would only be fun for me. Acts of charity are all good and necessary, but not from Aphrodite. Her spice made the world interesting. 
She added a zing to things, you know? She literally changed the world. I mean, she started the Trojan War. And also she could be named the most beautiful. That's it! I don't know if we have time to start a war, Hermes. No, no! We'll bring her the prize her vanity won her. Something she wanted so much, she let the world go to war for it. If she sees it, maybe she'll want her old zing back. The Apple of Discord! The Apple of Discord! I'll find it as soon as I can. Good. She's boring right now. I can't make one remark about what Persephone is doing with her hair before she starts prattling on about the needy. I miss the old Aphrodite.
Ah, Aphrodite's palace. The most majestic sight on the Golden Isles skyline. I don't know if it's the most majestic. There's one mountain in particular I think is pretty... regal.
You might have offered Paris power, Hera, but it wasn't enough to win the Apple of Discord. Of course not. It was a total turn-off. Paris didn't want power. He was a slave to love. Yeah. Athena. If Paris had known the Trojan War was coming, maybe he would have taken the battle wisdom you promised him in exchange for the apple. But alas... Ha-ha! Time paradox! Wow. You're smarter than I gave you credit for. Oh, sorry. I, uh, dotted off for a second. What was that? <sighs> Never mind. The apple of discord. All Hades broke loose over that thing. Three goddesses, 
toe to toe for the title of most beautiful. Ah, but our hero knew the apple symbolized more to Aphrodite than a self-regard worthy of Narcissus. That's why she had to win. Oh yeah? What did Phoenix think it symbolized? Freedom. Never-ending truth! I am your world reborn! Aphrodite, I have something for you. I've had enough of your gifts. What I mean to say is, I'm only here to give, not to receive. But it's another apple for your collection. It's so beautiful. I want it. <laughs> Did you know the Trojan War could have been avoided if Eris had been invited to Peleus and Thetis' wedding? What? I thought it had something to do with throwing grease! The shade Eris was throwing, how did I not put two and two together? The best parties are the ones that the goddess of Discord shows up to uninvited. Everyone knows that. Can't fight! To think Hera pulled Athena's hair over an apple. Her own daughter. Ah, right! The beauty contest! What moron appointed that blowhard Paris the judge? I'm looking at him. To be fair, I'd had a lot to drink. It wasn't Paris's fault. Hera offered to make him king of Asia and give him great riches. Athena offered great glory and renown in war. But show me a god or mortal who could resist Aphrodite's bribe of true love. Yeah, sure. It was Helen of Sparta's love Paris was after. So, he did exactly what you asked, and chose the most beautiful woman. Then, you know, started the Trojan War. I wanted to win that apple so badly. I wanted to win that apple so badly, I started a war for it! To show Zeus! Everything that came after was my fault. You were acting according to your nature, Aphrodite. Which is exactly why I'm better off without my essence. My nature caused only pain. That's where you're wrong, Aphrodite. You can't have one side of the coin without the other. Your passion, your unpredictability, 
and I'll say it. Your jealousy, your vanity, yes, they caused pain. But you know what else they did? <laughs> what? They created some of the greatest adventures, the greatest epics, the greatest stories the world will ever see. I'm a storyteller, I know. Sure, we would all be safer if we just stayed at home, but everything's more beautiful in color. The passion is worth the pain. Oh, in that boat are my unfiltered jealousies and darkest natures. If I let you in, everyone will judge me. I've been judged before. Aphrodite, you rein it in. Aphrodite, you're too much work. Aphrodite, you're too much trouble. Aphrodite, you're too much. Whoever said that owes you an apology. What a jerk. I never meant it like that. Didn't you? You don't have to compete for my or anyone's love. You are enough. Anyway, if you're that beautiful and have a perfect personality too, well, honestly, it's just annoying at that point. <laughs> All right. I'll move my room. Please, take this blessing before you go in there. You can find me at the Hall of the Gods. Get off me, all of you! It's enough already! Why don't you just go get a job? I had no idea Hermes and Aphrodite were so close. They even had a child together. No way. Boy or girl? No. Ah, I see. The child was non-binary. Look at you. Prometheus, I have an amphora collection. I'm with it. <laughs>